wonder if the gods are watching me. Coming through. Blood comes easy these days. Don't waste a step. Ha! <laughs> 
swift and lethal. Another fight. Let's go. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Coming through. Sometimes the only way out is through. deep and move. Fate spins along as it should. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. I 
I have something to ask. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moon. The problem is this, a preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. <laughs> if only that were true. Wolbrin's a good sort, but he wouldn't know his Archaeus from his elbow. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I'd be no help to Wolbrin at all. Would you... Would you look for him? That's... <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? A telepath. Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth, a substance so powerful it could fell a city, a nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. To Baldur's Gate, I expect. I don't know what they plan to do with it, but something of that power turned loose in the city. It could be carnage. Wolbrin must know their plans, and we must find him. I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. Thank you. Like what? I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. Alchemist, tinkerer, adventurer, curmudgeon. <laughs> I wear many hats, most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. Barkus Root is my name. Baldur's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. Thank you for agreeing to find Wolbrin. It means a great deal to me. Indeed. Swift as my feet can carry me. Shah's blessings upon you. I need a moment for the two of us. How can I help? Hello, my dear. Well met. Moving ahead. What? He demanded our heads. He'd deny us a cure. How dare he speak our queen's name? How dare he dishonor her children?
Then we will see the Queen's justice done. I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlakith herself. Speak. Quickly. like the place the Dark Justicia's letter mentioned. But where's the stash? Left out in plain sight like that? No. The Harpers are too smart for that. That might be worth a look. Will not bend. Vlaketh Kassivim Hrath Krashet.
ready. Outmaneuver them. Need to find a way forward. Trust no one. ever. Thanks, boss. We'll be looking a lot worse if not for help from a friend. Aye. Same as us, I expect. Virtus excientia. We've had some rest. Maybe we can... 
Thanks again for offing that drow. I only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. I don't know half of what they're saying, but at least they're peaceful. The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. Freedom. I'd forgotten how it felt. Thank you. My friends are trapped in Moonrise, and I'm just sitting here. Iron Hand keep us safe. We've had some rest. <laughs> Never thought I'd owe a bunch of mushrooms my life. Only wish the rest of my people were here. You saved my skin, but there's more bastards out there. For every one you kill, pint on me. You've done so much. I hate asking for more. But you see more slavers. Burn them, skin them, make them hurt. <laughs> no need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand Gnomes are good friends to have. I... I heard about Walbrun. But the cause is bigger than any one of us. You've made sure his work is done, even if he's not there to see it. He'd be grateful. A little more rest and I'll be ready to get out of here. Somehow you look worse than last I saw you. Peace, Rhea. Be at home. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. I don't know half of what they're saying. But at least they're peaceful. Peace, Rhea. Be at home. <laughs> Thanks, boss. We'll be looking a lot worse if not for help from a friend. Bye. Same as us, I expect. Time to press ahead. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries?
Perhaps the Melium is right. Same I as our side. are watching me. my breath. Be 
on my tongue. I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? Battled? Please. That implies rivalry. He will be but a footnote in my legend. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Liar? How? Do you know how many years we spent searching, studying, for you to simply stumble on it? Gods! Gods! I might have to raise your corpse just so I can kill you twice! do this all day.
Ever. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. One day I'll catch a break. Well met. You sure about that? I'm one of a kind, and just when things were warming up. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Should mind my step. Yoga must have moved on to new deals. My friend! How do you fare? in your brain, somewhere behind the orbital socket. I could attempt to remove it. I've a needle in my tunic. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Don't fidget. 
The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Stop. Now? Wise. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Are you sure? If I don't intervene, the parasite will continue to gestate inside you. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then tap, tap. Stab. Do you feel that? Ha! I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further! Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Ta! Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose no excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We find a healer. And the sooner the better. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. Another step forward.
Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the early access campaign of Baldur's Gate 3. On behalf of the entire team at Larian Studios, I want to thank you for playing and supporting us. And please let us know what you thought. Let us know what you liked, let us know what you didn't like. You can do that on one of the many community channels we have or on our forums. I assure you, we read it all and we use it to make the game a lot better. We still have a lot of work ahead of us. It's going to take some time before the game is going to be ready. All of us at Larian are doing our very best to make it a game that it deserves to be. Thank you once again and until next time. Take care. Bye bye.